describes that these designations, this is the problem, that we have these false designations, and layer upon layer of false designation, we, we're, we're under the first misconception of this body, but then we layer on it all many, so many other false designations, or temporary. They're not false per se, they're real, but they're temporary. They're not our ultimate identity. So, um, a leader has to have this awareness to be able to guide uh, citizens properly. And this humility, um, Prabhupada describes the definition of humility in the 13th chapter. He describes humility means not being anxious for the satisfaction of being honored by others. And this is a natural tendency, is that you know we want, in the material concept of life, we're looking for respect and appreciation. That's different from just Affection. We all need affection. We all need to be encouraged. But like this, this undue or unnecessary <laughs> flattery, you know, that that we're something that we're not, you know, and and so oftentimes materialistic consciousness is that we flatter one another because we want to get something from. It. You know, I was down in Nogales yesterday, and I was going through all the marketplaces, you know, and everybody's like, oh, you know, they're all goggling over me, you know. And, you know, just because they, they knew I had some money to spend, you know. But it was sort of like, well, this is kind of cool. They're like, everybody's really waiting on me. And this guy was, like, taking me around from shop to shop. And he was, you know, expect, you know, he was going to get a tip for that. Because he didn't have what I needed in his shop. So he took me around to all these other shops. And he was, like, my personal guide, you know, in Nogales. And I said, you know, this is kind of cool. You know, I get my personal... But, you know, what is it? You know, here in America, you go in the store and you're lucky sometimes you can get the people to wait on you. So it was sort of like, it was kind of nice. I was thinking, oh, this is, you know, you know, I'm kind of special here in Nogales, you know. I should spend a little more time down here. So that's, I mean, it's, we're not, uh, we're not, you know, you have to be human and you have to deal with your humanness in order to, practice spiritual life too, but we can't let it get out of hand and think that that's really going to make us happy just to have people fawning over us or telling us we're great when we're you know, just kind of ordinary folks. Um, another, uh, you know, I don't even go on that because last time I went over. Uh, let's see if there's anything else I can bring down here. Um, here's another, uh, I, I'm kind of a quotaholic I got these cool quotes. This is from uh, Douglas Adams, who's a he was a twentieth century he's from England. He's a writer, and he had a very interesting thing to say about uh, leadership. He said, "It is a well known fact that those people who must want to rule people are ipso facto by that fact those least suited to do it." Mm. Anyone who is capable of getting themselves made president should on no account be allowed to do the job. <laughs> so in other words, this tendency to want to be a, a, a lord, to be a master, this is the very disease that sort of keeps us bound in material consciousness. There's one supreme lord, and we're playing, you know, it's like, what was the old Susie Homemaker, you know, with the... The, the oven, easy bake. easy bake oven, you know, you know, you, you couldn't play with the big pots, you know, so mom got you the Susie Homemaker set, so you, and, you, and you're like, I'm cooking, you know, you're making, you know, whatever, dirt muffins or whatever, you know. So, so here we are, we're trying to be someone we're not, we, we can't be God, but we're all either overtly or subconsciously trying to be some hot stuff, you know, try to stand above the crowd somehow or, somehow or other. And if we can't do it by developing virtuous character, we do it by cutting down others. And I had a friend from a, an Indian tribe, Native American tribe, there was a saying, he says, I chop people's heads off so I look taller. Yeah. So we when we criticize others and find fault with others, it's because we're not actually deserving of, you know, exaltation by virtue of good character. So we just, we, we belittle others and in that way try to 
stand above others. It's all, it's all kind of a mess. And and when I a month ago when I uh, when Sadamani asked me to you know speak this month, I, I looked on the calendar. I was kind of looking at the days, and I saw Valentine's Day, <coughs> and then I saw President's Day, and, and I was in such a state that I wasn't feeling too loving. I was paying too much attention to all the politics. <laughs> it was, I was in the hospital. I, I had this pneumonia thing going on. I was in the hospital, and they, it was when the impeachment trial was going on, so I was kind of bedridden, so I was sitting there for 12 hours. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to... If you want to turn your brain into silly putty, you know, watch 12 hours of, of congressmen and senators, you know, spewing vile <laughs> words of one another. So anyhow, this is uh, this is not healthy, you know, this this sectarianism, I mean, we all we all feel it. And it, it's it's everybody I mean, frankly when I I you know when I was down in Mexico yesterday I thought, oh these people are so nice. I don't know anything about the politics in Mexico. It's probably screwed up like everywhere else, but I just felt like, boy, it's just nice that people are seem a little nicer. You know, like they're, you know, they're, sim you know, I don't know, I haven't been around Mexico that much, but, you know, they're kind of simple, pious, you know, a lot of, you know, the Roman Catholic tradition is, you know, pretty strong, and what, Latin American. But it's, it's nice people, you know, God, I'm so tired of all this, you know, hateful, you know, and it's become normalized because whatever actions the leaders perform, common people follow. So I'm not going to go on a rant, but it's just, it's so evident that this type of uh, vile, uh, destructive uh, rhetoric and behavior is, is normalized. And we have to be the change that we want to see. You know, we have to understand who is actually qualified to be a leader and either step up to the plate ourselves or follow, follow someone who's actually qualified, you know, so um, I think that's about it. It's 632, I better pull the, <laughs> pull the exit stage left, right? So uh, anyways, I hope I didn't end on a sour note there, but there is, uh, we do have, our, our confidence is that great personalities, Mahatmas, broad-minded people, spiritually elevated people, such as our founder Acharya Srila Prabhupada and his faithful followers, uh, have the, the integrity and the knowledge to guide, uh, to guide us on this perilous path. You know, it's, it's a tough life. And, and it, 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 for younger people, there's a lot of optimism because you've got seemingly a whole life ahead of you. By the time you're, you know, a little older, you got, you've been kicked around a lot by the material energy. So there tends to be maybe not so much idealism and optimism about the future. Although, spiritually, we have a great future. And getting older means you're getting ready to step outside of this temporary, uh, difficult life into a life of eternal bliss knowledge and uh, full uh, happiness. So um, there is optimism and, a, and a, like a childlike enthusiasm and fascination with life when we are properly situated in spiritual consciousness. But when we're in material consciousness, the older you get, the bleaker it seems because you see the inevitable demise of the body and you know the attractiveness of the body is you know waning every day, and it's, oh, I'm out of the game, you know, like you know the, the whole romanticism that you know fuels so much of modern society. You know, we're we're, we're just being um, tantalized. You know, you know, wear this lipstick and you'll 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 get the guy. Or wear this. Remember that old high karate. You know, you splash on the high body and all the women come chasing after you. You know, it's like we all want love. We want love, but but the, the love that we're really our heart is really yearning for is not available on in materialistic relationships. That that divine love which is unlimited and fully satisfying 
is available with the Supreme Perfect Person, and by loving that Supreme Perfect Person, we naturally love all of God's creatures, all living beings, not just humans, but the cows and the dogs and the ants. So, thank you very much, and, and we'll have some chanting. And, and